What's up, YouTube land? That word collector here. It's uh, review number 200, by the way. And before we start, I just gonna want to give a massive thanks to everyone who's watched any of my reviews or liked or commented or anything like that. Thank you. And we're gonna get on with the video. But first, a bit of a background, a bit of a. Let's go back a bit in time. All the way back to December, where Cheapo dollar stores bloated to hell with freaking all the just the worst toys for unsuspecting grandmothers to uh, disappoint their kids with you can find you could find these guys anywhere you go but unfortunately I only found these five ones but these five dudes are the mon from mon toy the Wild Robots. I don't have enough room. Oh crap. Everything's going everywhere. And there you go. Uh, let's talk about the packaging. So you got this uh, generic ass robot who could be Sideswipe. Not 100% sure he is red. He looks like he'd turn into a car, so he might be sideswipe. Obviously, you got wild robots. These things are $4 each. And this, I guess, is this supposed to be a flaming horse logo? I don't know, but they're made for 6 and up. I love how they put a <laughs> movie Grimlock picture right in the corner for no reason at all. This one is the wolf. The wolf. I believe this is uh, a knockoff of K9, who in himself was a uh, repaint of Beast Wars something. I don't remember the name. But I believe this is the K9 color scheme. You can see a picture of the alt mode there. The first thing you can. The first way you can tell it's cheap. Look at the bubble. Like, this is not a mark of quality material, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nothing on the sides, absolutely nothing on the bottom. Transforms from a robot to a wild beast. Collect them all. Here you got, let's look at the back of Pac Menagerie. You got Beast Wars Megatron in some weird red and pinkish color. I do like the hot red Tyrannosaurus. Gives me a very uh, Transmetal 2 Megatron vibe. You got the Stegosaurus right there. Who I can't remember the name of offhand. You got Longrack right there. You got, I'm pretty sure it's Leo Convoy. You got freaking Air Razor who, I'll tell you guys a story. I had an opportunity to buy Air Razor because I was at like Carlingwood Mall, and the uh, my friend who probably watched this, y you'll know what I'm talking about because you, because I saw you not long after I picked up at least one of these guys, the Stegosaurus, I believe, and I was trying to carry him through the mall. I think it might have been two of them, but yeah, I had a chance to pick up Razor, Air Razor. The only reason I didn't is because I have Air Razor, the actual version, over to the side. And all these other guys I didn't have versions of. You got a horse, who is Mad Kick. The wolf. And the Triceratops, who is Gildar, I believe. Who got repainted into the Beast Machines line as Beast Machines Triceradon. Oh, and just a knock for kids 0-3. to three. So, let's... 
yeah, I got five toys to do. We're going to do one video on them. Hopefully this will be better than the uh, Bruticus, uh, Fall of the Cybertron Bruticus video I did a long time ago. But I'm going to get them open, and I'm going to figure out some of their names. So I'll be right back. So here they all are, open up and in the robot modes, because I really don't want to transform them more than once. Here is Mad uh, K9, who's actually repaints, could be a complete remold of uh, Wolf Fang. This guy is Striker, who's a repaint of Saberback from Beast Wars. And the Lion Guy. I actually couldn't find a name for. Like, TF Wiki has nothing. Because Leo Convoy is a completely different mold unless they released a deluxe version of Leo Convoy. Or something like that. But these things, these are just terrible. Like, uniformly bad plastic. Pretty bad paint deco, in my opinion. The first thing... God, they're so terrible, they're affecting my uh, electronics. The first thing K9 did was lose the frickin' pin that kept this on. Mock Kick can't even stand up. Uh, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go through them one by one, look at how bad they are, and then I'll put them in beast mode. Excuse me. I deal with this thing. Oh, fuck. Come on. Wow, these are terrible. Alright. Let's go with Mad Kick. Not Mock. Mock Kick, apparently, but K9. Uh, don't have a funny name for him. Uh, but, yeah. I could do, whole, do the whole, my shield is a dog back. Like, look at that crappy plastic. I've got a weapon that's my bum hole. Yeah, his weapon is his tail. So if you're not familiar with Wolf Fang, his missiles were impaled through him as his spine. This toy does not even have missiles. <sighs> like, I guess the color scheme's okay. White and orange and blue and red. There's just kibble all over the place. Like he's he feels like a lump of plastic that weighs next to nothing. Look, look how thin that is. Uh, over here we have Torture Rack, because wrestling references. And this guy is uh, Dick Kick, because that's what it feels like trying to play with him. He's based off Beast Wars Neo Ma Kick, so he's immediately terrible because of this. He's got a freaking... The back... And the back, the top back portion of a horse on his shoulder, with the horse neck tr masquerading as an arm. Like how? It, whatever. Although I guess he throws hooks pretty well, and I really don't think he's gonna run anywhere with feet like this. <clears throat> oh, and his weapon is his tail. I guess I have to talk articulation at some point. So this striker, he's more like a sucker or a loser. His weapon is his tail, as Beast Wars tend to. Uh, he's got an Autobot symbol for 
whatever reason, he's... I don't think he's an Autobot. No, he's supposed to be a Maximal. I guess they were too easy to look at what a Maximal symbol is. He's pretty crap with these giant <laughs> shoulder kibble stacks. And just... Just the most awful sound. Oh. It doesn't want to make it. It made a really awful squeaking noise the first time I pulled his shoulder out of place. But, you know, he's got kind of a... Uh, I'm going to say Native American vibe with the headdress on, so that's, I guess that counts for something. And he's definitely one of the most stable. Uh, Leonardo DiCrapio here, yeah, he's got, gi he's got a giant kibble flaps that can come over his, like, I don't know what you call that, but it looks like shit. It has some nice texture detail and some ears and some surprising techno detail, like some wiring in the inside. And then there's this piece, which doesn't peg in anywhere. The face looks all right, kind of Optimus Prime, with the head crest and the mouth plate and the blue helmet, because that's iconic Optimus. But even his eyes aren't painted properly. And he's got silver. I don't know what this is supposed to homage, but uh, he barely has feet. You have to actually use the lion legs just so he'll stand up at all because of this giant back mess. And we come to Torture Rack, who's just a weird design to knock off in general. Freaking uh, long rack, because he doesn't have arms. At least functional arms. This his whole arm is this giraffe head, which is I guess would be fine. But he's got a he's on he's got an arm basically molded in, but completely covered by a giraffe shell, in a ball jointed. It's not even a fluffy tail anymore. It's just a piece of plastic. Ugh, these guys just feel bad. Like this guy's hip. His crotch doesn't even peg in properly. Like, the peg is too small or something. I guess he has one slight advantage over the original mold, because his back-mounted uh, titty penises don't actually stand up that erect anymore. They actually can fold away. But this guy has sacrificed a lot of engineering, because Long Rack has a, basically a third base mode that I'm pretty sure this toy can't do. He's one of the few with an actual head joint, if you call it a head joint, it's just a transformation joint. Like, Ma Ma Kick and K9 don't even have neck joints. Like, his neck is going nowhere. It's not even a full head. It's just an empty shell. Because the original toy had the gimmick of you could, you could give him a battle mask, which looked cool and could fold up to reveal his actual head. But this? Nope. Not at all. Uh, Mac, Mock Kick. Yeah, his head is an empty shell as well. But, oh, it does actually fold down. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. This, sh this arm doesn't even have an elbow joint. It's just a ball joint his shoulder on a, uh, one of that. Uh, let's talk articulation on... I guess I'll grab K9. As I said, the head does nothing. The wolf bits are on ball joints and these hinges. The shoulder is on a ball joint on a stick in there. So it can go that way. And does a 360. A uh, bit of in and out right here on a cut for a ball for a ball joint. So you have to do the faux bicep swivel. He does have a complete elbow bend on a single hinge, so that's something. Waist 
nothing. Although it looks like you could, it looks like the original did have a waist joint and they removed it because you can you can clearly see a gap there. Like that feels like I'm gonna break it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna break it if I try and keep lifting it up. Ah, hips are on a ball joint which are fairly smooth can go outwards about that far before the the side of the leg gets caught under the crotch armor although there's some nice detailing and I just noticed this bit is actually over he has quite a deep knee bend due to I assume transformation and his beast mode has a another joint there And that's it for Mad Kick. It's basically all these guys are just ball joints. At least Mad Kick has a broken knee bend. But that's basically about it. Everyone else just has ball joints. And the shoulders, and the hips, and the knees. And all the kibble is on ball joints. Or freaking a C-clip, basically. A C-clip! With this shitty plastic. So now we have, we are come to a crossroads. We have five toys to transform, and no instructions. So, to the power of Windows Movie Maker, I'm going to transform all these guys in one second. Ready, and... And we're done. Well, four or five ain't bad. So, beast mode, then are actually surprisingly not bad. Except for this guy, who I didn't even realize has basically a waist ball joint and a... Cr it has a waist hinge and a crotch ball joint. And I'll get to him at the end. This guy, Matt Mock Kick, also has a waist joint for the, pop for the transformation that I failed to notice until I started playing with him. And, uh... Not mob kick, dick kick is what I want to call him. And torture rack actually has a, I'll call it a maximal symbol, but it doesn't have the the detail. I can't show. I can probably show you if I detransform him. There you go. Let's get this panel actually out of the way. That's what it looks like. That's n that's not even anything symbol. But four out of five are actually surprisingly not terrible. So again, we'll take a look at K9. Yeah, he's a giant. He's he's a wolf. He surprisingly looks okay from the top down. I mean, he's a deep streak. He's a long streak of black, which is never a bad thing. You know, kind of fit, kind of implodes on the underside, but for an imposable chunk of wolf, he doesn't look bad. Given the face sculpt, he has nice blue eyes and a really angry expression. And he also has his robot mode. He has beast mode tit fists, or robot mode tit fists, whatever you want. He has fists that are his tits. And this guy, I was actually wrong about. It turns out he is Beast Wars 2 Leo Jr., so not Leo Convoy. But he was actually quite a pain in the ass to get these uh, the main to cover everything, because everything has to be in a certain specific pay place, and you got parts pushing past parts, and really cheap plastic that just does not feel good. Oh, and his, uh, wep he has a gun coming out of his ass. You know, I've heard of Sex Machine, but that, this takes it to a very inappropriate place. Yeah. And, Dick Kick, while functionally a, a pain in the, he's about, as a no, he's about as painful as being kicked in the balls. Handy given his name. 
He does actually come out with a surprisingly cohesive horse mode. Granted, it doesn't have any of the gimmickry the original Mock Kick had, which, if you can, if you don't remember, was a uh, basically not a spring-loaded head, but an extending head for a punch. And he had like I'm trying to remember other gimmicks, but that's the main one I remember. But I think his his horse bits were actually textured, and this is just smooth, cheap plastic. He does have knee joints and hip joints here, so he can kind of pull off a not terrible pose. He actually does have uh, ankle joints. That's cool. On both sets of legs. And the tail doesn't do anything. At least the tail's not his hand anymore. At least I think that was a feature. And we come to uh, Torture Rack, who actually still has the texture, if you can see it there. He, his skin really feels... His, his fur really feels smooth. It's supposed to smell, feel smooth. But with the cheapo plastic, it just feels like I'm scraping plastic, you know. Kind of get the feeling of uh, nails on a chalkboard. But, yeah, one big, one unfortunate thing, his butt doesn't pig in. He does have the good old gaping butt void his original toy did. And this one also doesn't have any of the gimmickry, because uh, he would fire rockets out of his knees. He, he had actual tongue... He had eye articulation where if you press in his tongue, his eyes would move. Now he's just got a head swivel or a hinge. It's, it's just a screw. It's just screwed in. The only piece, the only things on this side that are actually metal are the screws. His tail is ball jointed and he really likes to come to pieces. And yeah, he's got his, um, Metallic big boy sandals just sticking out as uh, the backs of his legs, like that. Although, that is really annoying, because it prevents the toy from being any fun. I don't want to pose him, because his legs are just not going to... I guess, at the end of the day, don't buy any of these. And if you want to buy any of them, don't buy this one. Because this is an unmitigated piece of utter dino shite. Let me sh let me show you why. So the head folds back. Let's try and transform him. These pegs will actually peg into these holes in the sides of his head. So somebody has already performed a lobotomy on our Stego man. He's supposed to peg him in. And that's already a problem because the feet are too high up. And... Somehow, you're supposed to, at least from what I figured out, peg the stego bits up here. Because you can't peg them in down here because they're too far apart from each other. They won't peg in. But there's a series of pegs. And this guy's missing his, uh, he's missing the gimmick in his tail, where his tail would open like a flower. Which I'll talk about in a minute. So there you go. And then, how, these pieces are supposed to go up there. How in the uh, hell do they act, are they, who designed this piece of crap? Like that peg... That peg is supposed to go in that hole. Um, how? Because I know these, these, the head bits are on sliders, but it doesn't work. I don't know, maybe go backwards? Okay, if I, if I get this right and this does, oh my god, did I just... Please tell me I didn't just actually make this work. I think I actually did make this work. Son of a... Okay. But 
fold these back up. These just fold into the shins. Are you seriously telling me I actually figured this out on camera? That's great. Wow, okay. And his elbows bend the wrong way. Freaking broken arm, broken leg syndrome. And then this, this panel, this panel, the peg is seared off. Or he, and look at this. There's no peg left. I can't plug that in. The best you can just do is that. Like, th that's just god awful. Oh, and these robot pieces actually look like skis, which is hilarious. And then you attach the tail. And you're actually, oh my god, I fucking. Thanks, instructions! Or lack thereof. Well, I was ready to harp on old uh, striker there, or sucker, but surprisingly I saved it. So this is functionally this set. Um, don't buy these for your kids. Please don't. They don't do anything they, in beast mode, really. All the gimmickry has been removed, and they're just not good toys! Buy this guy. He's a much better toy. And he actually turns into a, somewhat of a shark. Who's n And I like, I like posing him with the shark head out, because I like to think he wears it as like a, a battle helmet. You know how, uh, native, I'm trying to think of the culture, uh, where are the native people to Mexico, like a long time ago, like I can't remember, but they would rip out the hearts of their uh, victim because they had to sacrifice one of them to their uh, gods every single day. Those people used to wear, like, like, Animal heads as helmets. That's kind of what I think of when I'm playing with your old uh, Ripper Snapper. But that's besides the point. This video. These guys. One out of five. Uh, I'm telling you. like The robot modes are basic. And admittedly kind of. Like they're kind of almost fun. But not quite there. And the beast modes. The transformations are a mess, and the beast modes are mediocre. I'll say that. All their gimmickry has been removed, or at least most of it. But apparent, also, I've, I've found out that that uh, Megatron is actually not a Megatron. It's a repaint into a different character who was a Maximal. So, I don't know, maybe this Christmas I'll find some more, and I might review the rest of them, but... As I said earlier, do not buy them for your kids. And even if you're, even if you're a collector, don't buy them, because they're not, they're not worthwhile stand-ins in your collection. Like, Wolfang is a terrible toy to begin with. This guy is a weirdo, but he is fun if you get the actual version. Mad kick, mock kick. You know, I keep saying Mad Kick because I heard Theo say Mad... I think I heard Theo say it, but... Leo Convo... Leo Jr. Not a good toy in any way. Not even in the original version. It's just not a good idea, in my opinion. And this guy... He's just a flat zero. So, if I had to pick a winner... It'd actually go to K9. Just for the solid, solid enough robot mode. Like, that robot mode actually gives him that win, so. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you have enjoyed. Two, two hundred down. A million more to go, maybe. Maybe I'll get better at some point. I don't know. But until then, keep it weird. And please, stay out of the dollar store or Poundland or wherever you got. Just stay out. Bye.